Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform our viewers about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's video presentation is going to be one that I probably should have done months ago. I was realizing as I was making some of the other videos that I had never shown you how to do this. And it's something that most of you probably want to know. So after you get your backups onto your backup drive and mount your backup drive back onto your new Proxmox system, how do you actually restore a container or a VM into your Proxmox system? That's what this video is going to show you. So we've mounted our backup drive onto our system and our backup drive contains some backup files. So we've mounted our backup drive onto the system and our backup drive contains some backup files. So how do we actually use those backup files to get a VM or container working on our system? Well, after we've selected the backup drive under our server, we'll then be presented with a screen that looks similar to this. We can go ahead, select backups. We see all of our backup files that are contained on the drive. For me, I want to restore this particular backup file, but most of yours won't have notes. I'm very careful when I make backups to add notes so I know what the container is for because you'll just get a cryptic name that looks something like this. Anyways, to restore them, actually, to add notes, all you need to do here is click Edit Notes and you'll be able to type. But back to the restoring process. All you need to do to restore the VM or container is click Restore, and then you're going to want to select the drive where it's stored, in my case, Storage. Then your ID number for the VM or container, 103 is acceptable for me, and then press Restore. This will take a few minutes as the compressed backup image is decompressed and moved to the main storage drive for the system. So the task is finished. We can close the window. You can always close the window before it's finished. And if it's running for a long time and you want to check on the statuses, you can actually come down here as it's running and click on it and it'll bring up the window so you can check the output and see how the process is working. You can also check the status over here. So here's our container all finished and ready to go to be started and used. That's how simple it is to restore a container or VM from a backup file once you have mounted the backup drive on your new Proxmox system. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to help virtualize everything, bring virtualization content to YouTube. Also consider checking out our web store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. As always, have a good night.